Welcome back to Power Lunch. The Fed just cut interest rates by a quarter point. It was largely expected. Markets are somewhat unmoved. But what do investors now want to hear from Fed Chair Jerome Powell? He'll begin speaking and taking questions in about 12 minutes. Roger Ferguson joins us now, former Fed vice chair and a member of our mock Fed panel. Roger, it's great to have you here. And um, maybe you can address that kind of that triple issue of rising long term rates. Is it the deficit? Is it inflation? Is it real growth? How do you think the Fed's thinking about this backup, a significant backup in yield since they cut rates last time around? Well, first, thanks for having me on. Look, I think it's a combination of expectation of increased deficits, perhaps growth staying strong, but also the risk of inflation probably has gone up. You have the Fed cutting rates as the fiscal policy is becoming more stimulative. And so I think the market is suggesting that the borrowing costs that the U.S. government is going to face are more likely to go up uh, as opposed to going down as we go into a bout of uh, what looks like pretty serious deficit spending. So what is the Fed's role when that is the, the case? You know, no one's saying that, you know, that they need to react to fiscal policy, but in some ways they can't ignore it either. Well, no, they can't ignore it. So what they'll do is obviously run it through their models. They'll think about it and they want to see if there's an inflationary impetus that comes from that. And all of that depends very much on whether or not, you know, productivity increases and the economy grows. Uncertain for sure. Um, and so let's wait and see. But I, I think they will be a little more attuned to uh, pick up an inflationary risk as we find, you know, bigger and bigger deficits and an increase of the debt. But, um, but not yet decided. Um, but, and they'll wait and see. Yeah, and I wonder if, if you're pointing to the idea that there might be fisc fiscally stimulative things like tax cuts and, and, and spending uh, programs uh, that are in the pipeline here, the effects of those would not show up for quite some time. So I guess then my question would be, how soon would you expect the Fed to react to, to that? Would they wait and see it until they, well, they can see the, the, the effects or would they move preemptively? Well, that's a very interesting question. They certainly uh, have to wait and see what the actual policy is. It takes some mm -hmm. time, you know, to propose tax cuts, to get them through right. Congress. So it's, this is not an immediate thing. Um, and so I think it's first, what is the policy? Then once they get the size and the magnitude, they'll run it through their, their models of the U.S. economy, which are the best out there. Uh, and so I'm not in any sense suggesting that, you know, the next move is going to be up. I think they'll wait to see what the policy is assess it in an analytical sense and then be prepared to move if it looks as though inflationary pressures are going to pick up. Yeah, or it could. Um, and so it, we shouldn't be on our. Go ahead. Finish. I'm yes, sorry. Go ahead, sir. please. I know I was going to say, I guess. So... No, we shouldn't be. You know... No, please finish. I'm sorry. We, we shouldn't be, you know, attuned to a sudden change in policy from either the administration or or the Fed. So we're talking about something that's going to play out over quarters, if not years. Um, and so we should just be very mindful of, of a time frame here that's not the next few meetings. Yeah, that, that was kind of what I was driving at, was the idea that th this is going to play out over time, the reaction to whatever the fiscal policy is. And it could be that, that interest rate cuts are slowed, or if there's a, a strong feeling that, that the policy is going to be inflationary, well, maybe, the, maybe interest rates go up a tick. But that's down the road uh, under any of the scenarios you can envision. Yes, it is. I think they're you know, on the path. Inflation seems to be coming down right now. Uh, they focused on the labor markets, which um, are probably OK, but potentially weakening. Mm -hmm. So I expect them to have at least one more cut this year in December and then perhaps, you know, slow the pace of cutting as they wait and see how things are playing out. What will you be listening for in the press conference? Um, I think this is going to be a press conference that is going to try to make as little news as possible, frankly. <laughs> um, and so, you know, <laughs> um, and so I think effectively, uh, is he just going to reinforce, is Chair Powell going to reinforce the messages that they've been giving uh, over the last couple of press conferences? That's my expectation. So I think this is going to be, um, I think he's going to try to keep this as even keel as possible. I'm pretty sure they're pleased that the markets did not overly overreact uh, either uh, fixed income or equity markets. And I think the goal here is to simply stay as close to the statement as possible, stay as close to previous statements as possible, uh, and not make brand new news here.
All right, well, we will see. Uh, they're usually pretty artful at not making news. Mr. Ferguson, thank you very much. We appreciate your time. Roger Ferguson.